Hi, it's not a week, it's not a week in vlog. I'm gonna try to do this weekly, at least for April. We'll see how things will progress in the future. But I enjoyed it vlogging last week, it helped me like give myself accountable to read and it helped me motivate to read as well. So I am hoping to do that again this week. Let's just start with the books that I am hopefully reading this week. Let's see, we have Get a Life, Chloe Brown by Talia Herbert, which I'm 78 pages into. I'll talk to you more about this once I'm reading it. And then we also have House of Sky and Breath by Sarah J. Maas, which I'm reading 100 pages of every single time I finish a book, and I am 100 pages behind, so I'm definitely reading 100 pages of this in this vlog. And then for ebooks, I actually got two books in from my library, which like one, I put a hold on like two books on my library ebook app, and one was supposed to like get to me by the end of this month, and then the other one somewhere in May. Pulls out yesterday, I got on vacation, and both came in. So now I have two books to read, but I'm excited for both of them actually. The first one is Assassin's Blade, I believe that's what it's called, by Sarah Timmas. It's the like novellas from the Twin Glass series. I'm gonna try that series again because I really love the Akatar series and I'm really liking the Crescent City series as well. And I don't know what's one with Twin Glass, so I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna start with the novellas and we'll see how that goes. And then I also have Electric Idol by KJ Robert. I recently read the first book in the series, really loved it, and I'm very excited to get to this one. This one was supposed to like get to me in May, so <laughs> I'm very shocked that this one got to me now, but I'm also very excited about it. So yes, that's my reading plan for this week. But I don't know how it's gonna go because there's some stuff happening this week, but yeah. First of all, today was um, a flea market in my city, so I bought a lot of secondhand books, so let's talk about them. First of all, <laughs> we have Eclipse, which is the last Twilight book I have don't own, so I got that. I've been buying these secondhand when I come across them because I don't want to support Stephanie Meyer but I want to have these books for sentimental reasons because I grew up with them. And then we have Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. I don't really like this cover but I still picked it up because I want to try and read more Colleen Hoover and this is like one of like really popular ones like back in the day. So I'm excited to give that a read as well. Then I have three Agatha Christie novels. We have The Murder of Watcher Echo. I think that's how I pronounce his name. We have Hickory Dickory Dock. And then we have the ABC Mystery. And next we have Kucho by Stephen King. I honestly, I made myself a promise that I wouldn't be buying more Stephen King until I've read all the ones I already owned. But then I've been buying Stephen King. So like, who knows? And I'm talking about Stephen King. I also have Under the Dome. This is a Mahusa fun. But this one is one that does sound really interesting to me. So... <laughs> We'll see how this goes. And then Stephen King and Jason. I have Nosferatu, I think I should pronounce it, by Joe Hill. And then lastly, I have The Good Daughter by Karen Slaughter. I know Karen Slaughter is like a very popular author, just like in general, but there was only been like two books from her that's been on my radar. That's The Good Daughter and Pretty Girls. And I found this one. So hopefully I'll like it. I think I don't know. That's everything I have for you now. I don't really know what I'm gonna be up to for the rest of the day. We'll see. I'll I'll do you later. Bye. same angle different location we would have thunk it but basically i'm on a school trip to paris fun four days we left on tuesday which was a very hectic day everything went wrong that day and we didn't really get to see a lot of the city because we had a lot of issues with checking in into the hotel so that was a struggle and then wednesday is actually when you saw all my clips of just as b-wall because i just i went out with one of my friends and just went to see stuff and then today the plan was to actually go into the city center when i'm sick so instead i edited my vlog from last week and it's currently uploading i'm going to watch moon Knight as well but yeah if you watched my last reading vlog you know that my health has been like very much fluctuating these past couple of weeks uh, one day i'll be fine like the other day i'm like sick as fuck which is very annoying especially on a trip like this but here we are and we're living with it but if you want to know reading wise on the 
train ride here. I read like very little, but I got to page 100 of Get a Life of Chloe Barnes. So it's like 30 pages, a little bit less. I'm really liking this book, but I need to read more of it. And then I have been like reading a little bit at a time out of Assassin's Blade by Sarah J. Moss, which is like a prequel book to the Twin of Glass series, which has like a bunch of different short stories in it. Though that's because I just I wanna we tried the Twin of Glass series and a lot of people have told me that this is a good way to go so that's what we're doing. I read the first story, wasn't that big of a fan of it <laughs> but yeah those are my two current reads and I haven't read a lot. I'm planning on reading more today because I generally don't have anything to do so hopefully I'll be able to get that done but who knows. Either way I'll update you later. <laughs> I finished this book five stars I'll talk to you more tomorrow hi it's Sunday the last day of the week I'm sorry that this vlog is a bit short but I was busy this week as you can tell but I also didn't do a whole lot of reading I promised you an update last night so here we are first of all let's talk about what I read on the train back home which is Electric Idol I read like 70 pages of that so not a whole lot but this is the sequel to Neon Gods which I read earlier this month and loved so I'm excited to get into this one this is a like it's a sequel but it follows a different couple like most romance series do and this one it's a Eros and Psyche retelling and basically how this works it's like Eros and Psyche like don't really know each other well because their moms like don't get along like Demeter and Aphrodite don't get along at all but then at a party like Eros arrives like wounded and Psyche helps him but they get photographed in a position that makes it look like they were there for romantic reasons <laughs> which Aphrodite doesn't like and gives Eros like the assignment to like kill Psyche and I always doesn't want to because he feels attracted to her and he is like how about we get married instead and yeah that that's kind of where I left off while reading this but I'm reading more of it today because so far it's been really good so I'm very excited to continue reading it and then most importantly we have got a life Chloe Brown with Talia Hebert. Oh my god, I don't know how to talk about this. But basically, last night there were reading splints for the Magical Readathon because they're doing like a 10 of hour readathon over like the last chunk of yesterday and then today, which I'm not really participating in the 24 hour readathon. But I still <laughs> watched the splints, read this book. My intention wasn't to finish it, but then I finished it. So here we are. But this is an adult contemporary romance novel obviously because that's all i've been reading recently i follow chloe brown who has a chronic illness and in the prologue of the story she gets in an accident in which she almost dies and she realizes my life hasn't really been that exciting so she makes a list of things she wants to do in her life to make it more exciting and she actually recruits the help of where to with the superintendent in her building to like help complete some of these tasks and some women are doing it too that means everything i love it so much i gave this five to five stars <sighs> this was so good i love chloe and red just as like as separate characters even i think they both had like very interesting things going on chloe of course like her trying to like change her life and not because she has to she was like made like to feel by other people like her life isn't inter interesting enough she just herself one day was like you know what I have not been doing stuff that I want to do so let's pay attention to doing that and I really love that aspect of this book. I also really loved Red and he because there's also which I appreciate it as this author's note at the beginning of the book it says that this book deals with the healing after an abusive relationship and that's the storyline we have going on with Red and I thought that was really well done and really interesting like seeing him deal with that trauma from that relationship and how it has affected different parts of his life and then their romance was just amazing like it's 
you can kind of say it's enemies to lovers but it's not really but like in the beginning they don't really like each other that much but they have this attraction to each other that they are like ignoring because you know they don't like each other that much and throughout the book they like get to know each other better and better and you can tell that they're slowly falling in love with each other and i just i loved it so much and <laughs> it, just, it was so cute and there were so many wholesome scenes between them and i'm just like opening up to each other about like their past like traumas and stuff things they're dealing with i loved so much and then ugh, i can't talk about everything in the book so much but basically the other books in the series follow chloe's sisters and she, they play like a small part in this book and i love them so i'm super excited to go get the other books because my bookstore had them when i bought this one so i i desperately want to go back and get the other two because ugh, I, I need i need to binge the series because this was so good that that's my reading Here I am again, in the same situation. What does the